Good morning. So uh, nice to see you, grade fives and sixes. This is just a reminder, follow my instructions that I gave at the beginning of the lesson about how you do this uh, work. Okay, so what we're talking about today is speed. Okay, now speed always has three components. It has a time component, a distance component, and then the actual speed. Okay, this is very, very important. So your time could be in seconds, could be in minutes, it could be in hours, could be in years. These are all fine. Your distance could be in millimeters, it could be in meters, it could be in kilometers. This has to be a distance metric. And your speed is always two things. It's specifically these two things combined. If you write a speed down and you don't have two things, it is a wrong answer, period, full stop. A lot of you, when, every year when I teach this, I have one or two students who decide that this isn't important and they just ignore this section of it. But please don't ignore this. This is so, so important, okay? Speed is two things. So it could be meters per second, okay? It could be meters per hour. It could be meters per year, okay? That's all possibilities. It could be kilometers per second. It could be kilometers per hour. It could be kilometers per year. You get what I'm saying? There's always two pieces. There is a time piece, time, and there is a distance piece, distance. If you don't have both of those pieces, you have done something wrong. Okay, this is really, really important. It's that simple. Okay, do not mess this up. Don't decide it's not important. This is the way it goes. Okay, so when it comes to these topics, we're looking at um, how we actually address these things. Okay, so the simple equation is very, very simple. It's not hard. Okay, is you have your distance. You divide it by your time, and you get your distance over time, okay? So I'll give you an example of that. Let's say somebody drove 10 kilometers, and it took them um, five minutes. Then your equation, therefore, is... 10 divided by 5, which is distance divided by, that's what this line here means. It's kind of a divided by 9, okay? So what's 10 divided by 5? It's 2. You still need your units of measure, though. 2 kilometers per minute, okay? Now, this is where it gets really, really important. By doing this division, by putting time second, distance first, and time second, what I'm doing is I'm turning time into one. I could go two kilometers per one minute, but that's a waste of time, so I'm not going to do that. It's just two kilometers per minute, okay? That is the point. That's what we're trying to accomplish here, okay? That is my answer. I take my distance, which is 10. I divided it by time, which is 5. I get the answer two, and then, as I said, I have to have two pieces in my answer. So I have my kilometer part, which I got from here, and I have my minute part, which I got from here. It's two kilometers per one minute, and it's always going to be the second thing, the time thing, should always be a per one, so you never have to write one, okay? Now, this is actually really cool because we can express this in a triangle, okay? And this is our triangle of awesomeness, all right? And the reason we want this triangle of awesomeness is because it helps us answer questions no matter which way we get an example, okay? So here's our triangle of awesomeness. Distance is at the top. Speed is on this side right here. And time is on this side right here, okay? And that's, you can see, T for time, D for for distance, and S for speed. And this is our triangle of awesomeness. So you can actually see what we did here is we had distance, which was on the top, 
and time, which was on the bottom. So D divided by T equals speed. You see, I have all three of those initials still in there. So what if I have speed and time? Well, then it's speed times time equals distance. S times T equals distance. What if I have distance and speed but not time? Distance divided by speed equals time. This line here means divide. Looks like a divided sign, doesn't it? And this means times. Okay, so this is our triangle of awesomeness, and we're going to actually go over some examples in class, so I want you to look at, we'll talk about them then, but let's look at some examples, okay? Skylar runs a new personal best in the 100 meter sprint. Her average speed on the course track race is 8.5 meters per second, okay? Meters per second. All right, so what we have here is we've got 100 meters, and we've got 8.5 meters per second. Well, let's see. This one's easy. This is obviously a distance measure. Well, this one right here is also easy because it has meters per second. That's what that line means, per. So we know that's a speed because, yes, it says a second, which is a time, but it also says meters, which is a distance. And we know when we have a meters and a, a distance and a time together, then we have a speed. So if we go back to our triangle of awesomeness, right here, we have S, T, and D. Um, we know, we can see what we've got. We've got a distance, check, and we've got a speed, check. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take our distance, we're gonna divide it by our speed. Why is it divided? Because of this line right here. And we're gonna let, get left with a time. Now, this is a meter, and this is meters per second, right? So if I want to know what's left over, we know we have to have a time left because that's what we're solving for, right? We're solving for the time. And what's my time? S. And these two cross each other out because it's a division question. All right. So when we do this math, we just do 100 divided by 8.5. And you can use your calculator for this. This gives us a massive decimal number, okay? It gives us something like 11.764705, and it keeps on going. But your, if you ever end up with a decimal number, your book will tell you what they want. Maybe they'll say to, to, they'll say to the hundredths place or the tenths place. We're going to round to the tenths place. So we're going to go 11.8 seconds, just like that. Okay, now let's do some more examples, okay? We have a cheetah. And the cheetah was measured. It ran 112 meters in four seconds. So we want to know what its speed is, obviously, because we already have meters, we have a distance, and we have a time. So we go back to our triangle of awesomeness. Again, D, S, T. All right, in this case, we have the distance and we have the time, and we're looking for the speed. That's what the S stands for, speed. It's still division, though, so it's 112 divided by 4 equals, and as I said, I don't mind you using a calculator for this, just make, because the part that I'm going to be really picky on is making sure that you do this right. So 28 is not my answer. I will not accept 28. Now that is the answer, but I'm asking for a speed. So it's 28 meters per second. Again, I'm going to keep repeating this because some people just don't get it. I need for a speed, I need to have a distance and I need to have a time. And this answer has both of them. It has a distance and it has a time. Okay, I'm going to change one of my colors here because I have too many colors that are the same. Let's make that one purple. Let's make it thinner. And let's make this one blue and let's make it a lot thinner. Okay, all right, so now let's do another example. Okay, let's look at a car. All right, it goes 300 kilometers in 5.5 hours okay so again we've got a distance and we've got a time so what we're looking for is speed if we look at this again we've got distance and time so it's 300 divided by 5.5 and we get the answer 
which is really interesting. 54.545454. Now this is a fun one. You can just round to the tenths place, like I said, which gives us a five. This one, interestingly enough, because it keeps repeating the same pattern, if we put a hat over it, we just know it goes on forever. But this would be your answer right here. But again, that's not our answer because what we're missing is kilometers per hour. Have to have that kilometers per hour in there. It's an essential piece of it. I thought I made that pink. It doesn't look very pink here. All right, here's another example, okay? We have a person. In 15 minutes, they're running for 15 minutes, and they average a speed of 16 kilometers per hour. Okay? It's for a person. And I want to know how far they ran, because that's what's missing, isn't it? Okay? That's what's missing. We have, if we go back to our triangle here, distance, speed, time. This time we have the, sorry, the time. <coughs> My goodness, I'm sure you didn't miss those sneezes for me in the classroom. We have time and we have speed. So what we need is distance. So what it looks like we can do here is just go 15 times 16. Unfortunately, that's not actually right. And the reason that's a problem is because this is in minutes and this is in hours. And that's a problem because the units of measure are different. And if any of you are like, oh, we don't know about units of measure, teacher Miriam, of course you know about units of measure. We've done units of measure so, so, so many times. All right, so to make this easier, we've got to turn 15 minutes into a certain number of hours. Now we know 15 minutes is less than one hour. We can't just turn this into a decimal. It wouldn't be 0 0.15 because we know there's only 60 minutes, not 100 minutes in an hour. So this is pretty simple. We just go 15 divided by 60 and that gives us a decimal, okay? Zero, the decimal we get is 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Remember there's 60 minutes equals one hour. That's why we had to do that. We had to convert 15 minutes into an hour, so we had to go 15 divided by 60. It's very simple, not a hard one to do, okay? Now we've got an app. Now we've got a math we can do. So we go 0 0.25, that's our hours. Uh, let's actually go in the order that we have it written here. Okay, so we take our speed, which is 16. We multiply it by our um, number of hours, which is 0 0.25. Remember, we have to do number of hours. So we do that math. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cough this morning. All right, and we get the number four. So the answer to our question is what? Four kilometers. That's how far she goes. She goes four kilometers in 15 minutes, which I have to say is a pretty good speed. Okay. Well, she should be really happy and proud of herself for that speed. That's quite impressive. All right. And then the last one, we have a car that's stuck in traffic. It's gone 12 kilometers in two hours. Okay. And that's another simple question. Just this divided by that. So it's going six kilometers an hour. Okay. So that's basically an example of how all of that works. So on your speed worksheets, we're going to go and look at that. Each one of these, every time you get up with the speed worksheet, you've got to think about what it is that you're missing. Okay. Distance, speed, time. So in this question, we have distance and we have speed. Sorry, we have time. So we're missing speed. Okay in those equations. All of these ones, same thing. And they even give you your unit of measure at the end. Aren't they so nice? So like, for example, this first question is really easy. It's just 45 divided by nine. And then we get the number five. So our answer is five kilometers a second, okay? The next one we have to pay a careful attention. It says, Judy takes nine seconds to cycle from A to um, D passing through C and B. So the first thing we want to do is Judy starts at A, which is right here. She's going 
to D, which is right here, and she passes, sorry, she's going to C, not D, my bad. And she passes through B. Oh, pardon me, that's not C either. I can't see where C is on this photo. All right. And it says she passes through, she's going from A to C, and she's passing through B and C. Okay? Uh, A to D, wow. I keep looking at the wrong question. She's going to this number here. So she's going this way. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how far she's going. So this distance is 26, this one. And this one right here is 12. And this one right here is 19. So first we have to add all of those together and we're gonna get 16, one, five, we're gonna get 56. That's not our answer. That's just how far this is. But the question is, what is her speed? So now we look at this. Now we know the distance. It's this many meters, it's 56 meters. We know her seconds, it's 19 seconds. So we've got 56 meters divided by 19. And that gives us the speed meters per second okay and then the same thing tony is hopping from a to c tony is hopping from a to c but he passes through f he goes this way so the first thing we have to do is figure out how far he goes by adding those two together then we pick, figure out the speed and then the last one it takes Kathy 20 seconds to cycle back and forth between F and D, okay? This is one that everybody gets messed up in, all right? F and D using the shortest route. So the first thing is you got to figure out which is shorter. Is this way shorter or is this way shorter? And the only way you can figure that out is by adding. But when it says back and forth, what it means is she goes like this and then back again. Or she goes like this and then back again. She does not go. It's not saying that she goes like this. That's not correct. No. It's saying she either goes this way and then back to F again, or she goes this way and then back to F again. All right? But you've got to figure out which one of those routes she takes, which one is shorter. And then once you know which one is shorter, you have to figure out the meters per second. All right, this is another, this is the same, this next section is exactly the same. Read carefully. The shortest route that Mrs. Smith drives to Cabbage Town is, you gotta find the shortest path. Cabbage Town is, of course, right here. So, is it shortest to go this way, or is it shortest to go this way? We know it's not shortest to go this way. That would be ridiculous, right? So it's definitely not that. But which is shorter, that way or that way? You gotta add, the, do the math and find out. Then you have to do the same thing. What's the shortest way to Orangeville? Onionville, Orangeville. Again, is this the shortest way or is this the shortest way? You figure it out. And then the last one, same thing. The shortest way to Onionville. This one has lots of options. Is this the shortest route? Is this the shortest route? Is this the shortest route? Maybe this is the shortest route. Maybe this is the shortest route. You gotta figure out the shortest way, okay? That means you gotta do some math. You just gotta do some simple addition before you even get into any of the speed stuff, all right? Okay, now grade uh, six is, this is really simple. You know your triangle, you know your distance is on top, you know your speed is here, you know your time is here, and it's at times, okay? In this one, you've got distance and time, so you're trying to find about speed, so this is obviously division. Here, on the other hand, we've got something different going on. We're trying to find distance. You have time and you have speed already. So in this case, you're multiplying. You're going the other direction, okay? Always, always pay attention to what your question is asking you, okay? What is missing from your equation? And then here's some word questions, same thing. Figure out what's missing from your equation. 